Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of February 2nd to February 8th. At a joint meeting on Tuesday, the Somerset School Committee and Somerset Berkeley Regional School Committee approved of a new transportation contract with Fisher Bus Company that will represent a 19% increase in fiscal year 2025. The contract that was approved was for five years. It is a three-year agreement with two one-year contract renewals. Fisher was the only company to bid on the contract. The school committee talked about the shortage of bus drivers that the nation has been experiencing. Ronald Taro, the director of business and finance for the schools, said the districts have saved some money by buying their own vans for special education transportation and for some extracurricular activities. School committee member Victor Machado suggested that the school district start researching the purchase of two buses that they could use for extracurricular activities to save some money. An article will be put on the annual town meeting warrant in May that if passed would allow proxies to work for senior citizens and veterans in the town's work-off program that reduces property tax bills for those who participate. Under the work-off program, seniors and veterans can do work for the town to get up to $1,000 off their real estate tax bills. Allowing proxies to work for them could help some seniors who are not able to work. The Somerset Housing Authority has submitted a request for Community Preservation Act funding that would be used for an engineering study for land to build more senior housing in town. The authority is requesting $30,000 for the study, which would be done once a piece of land where the housing could be built is identified. Housing Authority member Matthew Aspen said 120 units of senior housing could be built in three buildings. He said the Housing Authority could seek a public-private partnership to do that. A lot of people in town recently have said that there is a need for more senior housing. The Housing Authority has income limits for those who are eligible for the housing. If the town's Community Preservation Committee recommends in favor of funding the study, it will go to town meeting voters in May for their approval. One person was killed and a house sustained a lot of damage after a pickup truck crashed into a home on South Street early Sunday morning. At 2.53 a.m. on Sunday, police received a call about a vehicle that crashed into a house at 117 South Street. Somerset Police Chief Todd Costa said the driver appeared to have been traveling southbound on High Street and then went across the intersection to South Street where the gray Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck struck the southeast corner of the house. Based on the amount of damage to the home, Chief Costa said it looks like the truck was going at a high rate of speed. The police identified the operator of the vehicle as Somerset resident Sean Cronin, who was pronounced dead at the scene of the crash. Building inspector Richard Foran said the house sustained damage to the foundation and framing. He deemed it uninhabitable. There was also damage to the electrical panel, a water main, as well as to a gas line. In sports, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School wrestling team won the Petrillo Cup with a victory over Durfee on Wednesday. For the Blue Raiders, Alex Javier, Anthony Celio, Aiden Griffin, James Phoenix, Ryan Fredette, Aiden Sylvia and Charlie Metis beat their opponents. The cup is named after the late Sal Petrillo, who was an athlete at Durfee High School and a principal at Somerside High School, where he helped to start the wrestling program. The Somerset Berkeley Regional High School boys varsity basketball team beat a Ponikin on Tuesday night by an 82-69 score. Point guard Brendan McDonald led the Blue Raiders in scoring with 23 points. Guard Mason Medeiros had 17 points and 5 rebounds, and Dom Taylor had 13 points. Electrify, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School's mixed show choir, earned a bronze medal at a competition held at the Central Massachusetts Show Choir Festival at Shepherd Hill Academy over the weekend. 
Morgan Machado won a Best Character Award and Grace Johnson won a Best Performer Award. The theme of the singing and dancing group is Carrie from the Stephen King book. Thank you for tuning in to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. We will see you next week with news from around Somerset.